Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Godly, and let me just ask you, are you ready for some football? Yes, I love football. Love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah, I'm a huge football fan, a huge Cowboys fan. Even though they suck, um, I'm pretty convinced, you know, every year that it's going to be their fucking year. And I'm really, I'm really serious this year. If it's not their year, like I'm over it. I'm fucking over it. You know, I'm, I'm definitely a diehard fan, but I'm not one of those people that just like will repeatedly get disappointed. So I'll fucking walk off and leave it all. I don't even give a shit. Um, you know, people want to say, oh, Tony Romo is the best. I'm like, bitch, no. You know, six years, $55 million. That motherfucker should be able to fly. He can't fucking run. He won't take a sack. No, suck my balls. I'm just, I don't know. You know, he is one of the most hated people here in Texas. It's funny because everybody else is like, oh, he's great. Look at his stats, this, that, and the other, which we don't even give a fuck. You know, proof is in the pudding, bitch. Show me the money. Anyway, so I don't know. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. But anyways, this year I am going to I'm going to try my hand at fantasy football. I've never done it before. Um it just hadn't been something that I was really interested in and for some reason like I just want to do it. Um I don't know why. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, you know, it'll work out. Anyways, um a little gameplay info for y'all. I decided to switch it up a little bit. I know people get tired of me using my sniper, and so this is Godly Goes Try Hard, and I'm using the um, MSMC, and I actually get my first Warthog. I know this is probably like, what? Like, what, Godly? Like, eight months later, you finally... Yeah, bitch. Yeah. But I don't ever use, like, high kill streaks, and I usually... You know, most of the time run support, um, you know, but I don't know. I figured, what the fuck? I'm playing hard point. I'm running solo. Shit, I never do. I never play solo because this game is asshole. You know, it's absolutely ass if you're solo. But anyways, yeah, so I think I end up going, I don't know, 54 and 15 or 16. Um, yeah, and I actually just whipped ass. So, I said I wanted to, you know, kind of switch it up for you guys, show you that I wasn't just a, a one-trick pony. I know this isn't the fucking greatest gameplay ever. It's not Prodigy Alert material, but it's a little bit something different for you guys. Anyways, I wanted to tell you guys a funny little story. Well, actually, <laughs> by no means is it fucking funny. I don't know. Maybe I should laugh instead of cry about it, but whatever. So, yesterday, I am at fucking Walmart, which is the bane of my existence. It's fucking shit. The people suck. The place is whack. You know, it's just ass. Anyways, I'm actually out of town, long story, but anyways, I'm at Walmart, and when I go back out, someone had hit my truck, and I'm like, the fuck? Now, we're not talking about a little fucking scratch. We're talking about a fucking scrape and a big-ass dent. It's probably, I don't know, from, you know, including the scratches and everything, scrapes, it's at least four foot wide. Yeah. And he hit it so fucking hard. He knocked his fucking, like, I guess his blinker, maybe his headlight out. Uh, the fuck? I mean, there's glass there. What the fuck? Like, how are you going that fucking fast to pull into a goddamn parking spot? I don't know. So, of course, I go in there. Well, first of all, let me tell you this. He leaves a note on there. It was like, my bad, man. <laughs> I hit your truck. No fucking number. No insurance info. Nothing. Like, okay, I'm the type of person, I would rather you not even leave shit. If you're not going to leave the right shit, don't fucking give me some my bad shit. Ugh. So, my temper, my attitude went from fucking pissed off to beyond fucking pissed off. Like, seriously, don't even leave me that kind of shit. So, I go back into Walmart. They're like, I'm sorry, ma'am, this is private property. Da -da -da. We are not responsible for accidents or anything stolen. Well, come again, motherfucker. You're not responsible. Okay. Well, they tell me I need to call the police. All right. You know, I need to file a, a police report, this, that, and the other. And I said, okay, I'll just wait till I fucking get home. You know, by this time, it's 106 degrees. I'm fucking hot. I'm fucking pissed off. 
what have you, wait till I get home, call the cops, set my fat ass outside because I'm assuming they're going to come within 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, hell no, it's non-emergency, so they're going to take their sweet fucking time. Okay, so I'm like, fuck it, I go back in the house. Well, finally, he fucking comes. All right, so he's like, well, I'm sorry, ma'am, it's private property. What the fuck? So who the fuck is going to take care of this? Apparently, me. You know? But isn't there something more that could have been fucking done? You know? I mean, what the fuck? So when I called, you know, I called, of course, the non-emergency line. The dispatcher told me, you know, like, hey, you've got to have a police report to get the surveillance camera. Yet Walmart wouldn't release the fucking surveillance footage to me. I... I'm just fucking lost at this point. The cop won't take a fucking report because it's private property. Like, who the fuck? I like, what the fuck? I guess so if somebody comes into fucking Walmart and shoots me in the fucking forehead, doesn't really matter. They can't do shit because it's private fucking property. Are you fucking kidding me? So I have no clue what the fuck I'm doing. All I know is I got a fucking scrape and a dent the size of fucking Texas on my truck. I'm sure I'm going to have to end up paying the fucking deductible. You know? I'm sure I'm going to have to pay everything. Hopefully, you know, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to do. I really, honest to God, don't know what to do. You know, and like I said, why the fuck even bother saying my bad, dude? Really? I'd rather you not even say anything than say that shit to me. The fuck? And I can't get the footage. I can't file a police report. I can't do this. I can't do that. Like, I understand that they're not responsible. I'm not asking them to be responsible. I'm not asking them to pay for the damage to my vehicle. I'm asking to see the fucking footage to at least maybe get a tag number or, you know, something other. So we could at least see. Like, is that... Is that fucking not being, you know? I mean, what else What else could you do? I, like I said, I'm not asking them to pay for shit or help me out. But they are very adamant. They won't show me this. They won't do this. They won't do that. The police won't do shit because it's Walmart's problem, per se. I mean, I'm just, at this point, a pissed off bitch, you know? And the cop goes on to tell me, like, yeah, we get called out to Walmart all the time, you know, from little door dings and fender benders, and that's not our fault. That's not our problem. It's private property. What the fuck? I cannot believe that there isn't something, you know, that can be done. I refuse to believe that there is nothing. There's no kind of law. Like, I understand that it's private property, but still, you know, some kind of offense or incident has taken fucking place. There should be, you know, some kind of something other. I don't know. Like, I can't even get a police report for my fucking insurance. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. So, at the end of the day, I'm probably going to end up paying my goddamn deductible. I'm going to have to fucking pay everything out of pocket, you know? And it's just, it's a hot-ass fucking mess. I'm pissed off, you know? <sighs> it's not like I drive that great of a car, but goddamn it, it's mine and it's paid off, fuckers. Anyway, so yeah, that was my little hot ass mess, funny, you know, well, I guess it ain't funny, but whatever story that happened yesterday. So anyways, but I just wanted to tell you guys that because yeah, because if you knew me in real life, this wouldn't fucking surprise you like at all. Like this is fucking typical for godly. <laughs> Seriously, this shit happens to me on a daily fucking basis. I don't know what I've ever done to deserve some of the fucking shit that I've got handed in life, but apparently, I don't know, I'm paying for something I've done, I don't know what the fuck, but like I said, I just want to let you guys know, I thought it was kind of a, you know, little interesting story, also want to let you know about the fantasy football, I am looking forward to it, and um, you know, the Cowboys play tonight, so, huh, they better fucking, I don't know, put the big girl panties on and do work, because I just... I'm going to tell you, I know it, and I know it, man. I know as well as I sit here. They're going to fall flat on their fucking face, you know? And it's just like every year. But I'm serious, Romo. For $55 million, you should be able to do something. Like, take a sack every now and then as opposed to throwing a fucking interception. 
run this motherfucker you never see him run and if he does run he fucking fumbles i swear to god i swear to baby jesus he better not fuck it up this year i will not i won't do it i will not i won't stand for it romo motherfucker all right guys anyways i want to tell you about that that you know i'm really excited about the fantasy football a little bit of different gameplay for you guys and my awesome fucking walmart story because yeah i have the shittiest luck ever all right, guys, that's what I got for you guys. Till next time, peace out.